Hello everybody, welcome back to another stream. How's everyone doing? Oh wait, oh I forgot to reset the the subs. Um, 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 um Jor3, welcome back. Thank you so much for the six months. It has been a while. Um, I read your comment if we've defeated um, Elite Four yet, we have. We have indeed accomplished it. And guess what? It's right on YouTube. I know one of my mods already posted it. But if you guys haven't already watched it, I, we did defeat the Elite Four. Um, and Cynthia, first try, it was very epic. I promise it was a really good watch, guys. So please go feel free to watch it on the YouTube channel. And also we have a YouTube mods channel right over here. But yes, Emily Joey, hello, Archan. Hi. Um, Olivia, hello, Wilbur. Soul Race Life, hello. I think I saw AJ here as well. Panda, hello guys. Trem, welcome in. How are you? Olivia, welcome. Thank you for chatting for the first time. How are you guys? Um, today's Wednesday, so happy hump day to everybody. I'm here for Chaos ASMR. I think today is going to be a relaxing stream, just a chill stream. I'm going to finish up some questions that um, we have from last week's instagram questions and if you guys have any questions as well please to ask um but yeah today we're probably gonna do just chatting i don't think we're gonna play any games we might we might not it depends how i feel i don't know how i feel yet but we are at one sub i know it says zero but we're actually at one also i did order the top down camera um i ordered everything except for the mount the table mount i'm still figuring out what kind of mount i want to use um and then i it took me a while to order it because one when i was going to order it it was like super expensive on amazon so i wanted to wait till it got um less expensive i'm going to turn off the background music for now um which it is now less expensive and then i also had to make sure that i ordered um the right equipment for all the pieces so i did have to I'm pretty much planning to switch out my Sony A6600 to be my top down and using my new camera that I ordered, the A7S II, as my stream camera and then the 6600 um, as my top down. So it's just gonna, it's just gonna take a lot of work fixing everything up. But yeah, those are the plans. My camera's a little crooked. What camera are you using right now? I'm using the A6600. Sony A6600. <sighs> but anyways, um, let me see if I have anything else to tell you guys. Let me think. Let me make sure I have my captions on. Um, I'm doing good. You can call me Angie. All right, I'm going to try to remember that, but I'm doing good. How are you? Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to play any games today. We might, we might not. If I play Breath of the Wild, I would have to take um, Dramamine, which I have not taken yet. So we will see. Off. Okay, I think that's good. Um, but yeah, this morning I spent time editing a TikTok. Um, and also Instagram Reels, so if you guys want to check that out, um, it's on my socials already. It, um, I, I forgot to post it on my socials, but um, someone actually... Oh, you know, I did talk about it yesterday. I had bumped into a viewer um, at an event I was at, so that was kind of cool. And they actually commented on my Instagram Reels saying that it was, it was them. So I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, if you guys want to check that out, it's already posted. Um, today should be the last day of the stream this week, just because I have other things going on. Um, and then next week I will update my schedule on when I should be streaming, um, for next week. You use Streamlabs or I use Streamlabs. I use OBS. Um, I used to use Streamlabs, but, um, I learned that Streamlabs takes a lot on the PC and, um, there's a lot of unnecessary unnecessary background um 
background stuff running when you use um, Streamlabs. So I decided to switch on over to OBS and it's actually um, just as easy and it's less on the computer, um, especially if you're not someone who has like the most like up-to-date PC. I think my PC setup's pretty decent, but at this point I'm pretty used to Streamlabs, so yeah. Hi Master, welcome back. How are you? I wanted to ask how your Minecraft date went. I remember um, a while ago you told me you had a Minecraft date. I wanted to know any updates on it. All right, so... Let's get into some questions. Um... Do you have a team for Pokemon Scarlet slash Violet multiplayer gameplay? Do I have a team for Scarlet slash Violet? Does that mean like what party I plan on having when I play that game? Because you know how you're allowed to have like um, six, six Pokemon in a party? Uh, for the starter, I normally always have a Bits War. So I let Stream choose um, who my starter Pokemon will be. I'm not going to let you guys know what starter I want. Because I don't want anyone to be, you know, to either get me the starter that I want or go against what I want. I want it purely to be what um, you guys want me to have. I want it purely to be what starter you guys want me to have. Um, but I do want to see the final evolutions of the starters. Um, I, I'm someone who wishes all the starters stayed small and tiny, but I understand that they don't become strong if I don't evolve them. So I just hope that these evolutions look cool or something because it's always a cute, it, they're always cute starters and then something happens as they evolve and it's just not it for me anymore so and then um as for the rest of my party i'm not that competitive when i play pokemon like i don't play i don't play pokemon competitively or i've never done it at least so i don't see myself um you know choosing ahead of time what team i want to have um but um, I am the type to join, to have Pokemon that I think are really cute that join the party. Mm -hmm. So normally I'm, I'm like a trainer that likes to have cute Pokemon, all right? Um, the cuter the better to me. So that's, that's going to be my team. <laughs> Brotion, hello, welcome. She wants Quaxel. I, I, I honestly forgot the starter names. Let me see, Quaxel's the, oh, it's the duck. The, the little Donald. Looks like Donald Duck. Um, Quaxel's a cutie. Honestly, all of the starters are really adorable. Um, and I'm not gonna say anything else because I don't want I don't want to give hints on who I think is the cutest. But yeah. I need Marilyn and Chad to kindly bully me into eating my first meal. Jedi, you need to go eat. You need to go eat. You gotta stay healthy for everyone around you. Um, Minecraft date was successful. Um, Um, what was initially five hour game date turned into two to three hours every night going on to day eight. That is so great to hear. How exciting. Um, I'm so, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> AJ, I'm going to ban you. You guys need to eat. What are you guys saying that you guys haven't? Eaten since yesterday, eaten since yesterday. You guys, you guys gotta eat. You know, I know for sure if I didn't eat, all of you guys would be on me. So you guys would be upset with me. Okay, next question. Um, 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 um. I'm just trying to choose which which answer questions to do the most. Which question is good? Um, what game makes you rage quit? 
Pokemon Unite. <laughs> no, I mean, I feel like I haven't played enough games to like have a game where I like really rage quit. Um, but you know, I hear Elden Ring isn't too hard. So maybe that's going to be the next game that I rage quit to. Um, one person just needs to say download it and I'll download it sometime within the next year. <laughs> yeah, but I don't I haven't played enough games to like know what games I rage quick to. I mean, Pokemon Unite, it gets so frustrating because it's like I can't talk to the other team, so I get really annoyed like by that, but I mean, yeah, I I still love the game when I when I played it. Um Katana, hello, um, I've been well, how are you? Mayas, welcome back. Where you can't interact in chat for a specific amount of time. Wait, what are we talking about? Mayas, welcome back, how are you? You rage quit during Breath of the Wild Master Mode during Trial of the Sword beginning and I, I don't know what Master Mode is in, in Breath of the Wild. He he download it. How much how much is Elden Ring again? <laughs> I I promise I will download it one day. I just like I said guys, I'm the type of person that just wants to take like go dip slowly into the world of gaming. You know what I mean? Just dip very, very slowly. Um so one day when I wake up and I feel like playing it, I will play it. I remember I like downloaded Stardew Valley. I played it a bit, never touched it again until the day I did. And then I played it nonstop. Um, I remember playing Pokemon Shield. I touched it a little, didn't really like it. And then played it again another time and then was obsessed. Same as Breath of the Wild. So I just, I just need time. I need time to like learn the game and get into it. Say hey, cookie, hello. It's pretty much hard mode, but I don't I don't understand how it becomes hard mode. Like what what are the restrictions? Game at your own speed. Homebody, are you a can I ask you a question, homebody? Are you a homebody? I feel like I'm kind of a homebody. Ever since COVID. Oh my gosh, guys. Um so I lost my train of thought. Never mind. Ferris wheel. Hello, major homebody. I mean, if your username is going to be a homebody, I would assume that you're a homebody. Um, my Davoom, I still have not touched since yesterday. I told myself I was going to fix it. But after stream yesterday, I was trying to edit videos and then I just got super tired. So I didn't have time to edit it. I mean, to fix it. So hopefully over the weekend, I fix it so that we can get it b up back and running up here. But I mean, hopefully right now this decor is still kind of cute. It shows, you know, shows like my little my Pokemon collection. Being a homebody, Loki the move. I mean, in this economy, <laughs> it's better to it's better to be a homebody, everybody. <laughs> Who got you into gaming slash streaming? Um, there was nobody in specific that got me into it. Um, when COVID hit, I kind of uh, discovered streaming on Twitch and um, I didn't know any streamer before I started. So I kind of just jumped in to see what it was all about. And here I am. Um, I used to play games growing up, but I stopped playing it as a young adult. Um, but streaming has, is what got me back into it. But you know, one of the pros of not um, being a real gamer outside of streaming is that I have a lot of discipline when it comes to editing my content because I know a lot of streamers have trouble balancing like their streaming life to like their gaming life, but I'm, I don't really have a problem. I'm pretty good at like not gaming off stream and off stream I'm just focused on like my work and like my whole um, platform growth, so. That is a plus that I'm not, you know, a, a normal gamer. Um, deep fried piano. Random fact about me. A random fact about me is. Mm, what's a random fact about me? What is a random fact about me?
It's expensive to breathe. It's expensive to live. G Lopers, hello. I hope you're doing well too. What's the random fact about me, guys? Oh, I I don't like beans. So for the longest time, like anytime I went to go eat Mexican food, I I I like didn't really like Mexican food because there were so many dishes that have beans in it. And I don't know what it is about beans. Like they literally taste fine. I think it's just like a texture thing. Like I don't know why I don't really like it. So anytime I get like any type of Mexican food, I always ask for no beans. Random fact, <laughs> Kuro B TV. I hope you're doing well too, Hanno Bots. Hello, welcome back. Yeah, I'm so bad at coming up with random facts, but I hope that one was a good one. I, I feel like that was a decent one. No, but I love, no guys, but don't worry. I love Mexican food. I will still go out of my way to get Mexican food. I just don't like beans for some reason. It's just something that I like, and beans come in like every taco, so I always ask, I mean not taco, burrito, so I always ask no beans and I just, I just like it better. I don't know why, I, I really don't know why I don't like beans. Alright, next question. At the current rate your streams are going, how long have, um, the other at the current rate your streams are going, how long till you take streaming as your primary job? Great question. Fantastic question. Um, that's, that's a, it's a, it's, it's, the answer is not an, the answer is like, not that straightforward because, um, I would say, that's your question, it is. I would say streaming on Twitch is one of the most difficult platforms to grow on of all social medias purely because of um, discoverability is just complete um, the discoverability purely because the discoverability is so horrible and also the ad rev ad revenue split is not the best um, any kind of income I make here is um, 50 50 split 50 percent goes to switch and 50 percent goes to me which is an insane ad revenue cut um, so where streamers make a lot or most of their money would be sponsorships and getting to the point where um, companies reach out to you to get sponsorships is very difficult and I don't really have time to be constantly reaching out to companies um, to do sponsorships um, and not only that even if I were to it's very hard to um, be recognized for um, your work as a streamer by companies because a lot of these companies normally just want you to do free advertising. I've been approached by um, a lot of companies to do sponsorship streams, but I haven't really accepted any because I felt like um, what I was getting from it um, wasn't really benefiting me, but more just benefiting them. Um, I, I never felt like I was getting a fair amount of compensation for it. So um, I, like the thing with content creating, you can't really like gauge like, oh, in like X amount of time, I'll be able to do this full time. It's more like I just have to keep working full time and hope that, you know, one day things will start snowballing and take off. Um, but I'm learning to enjoy the journey and just take it for what it is and still um, feel accomplished for the things that I have accomplished. And, and yeah, does that answer the question? Giselle. Marie, hello, I like, I like, is that your middle name? I like, I like that middle name. Um, yeah. Non-buff Asian guy, welcome, welcome back. All right, did you beat the Elite Four yet or am I late to the party? My, Josh, 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 Josh. You're late to the party. We have defeated the Elite Four and Cynthia first try and, but, it is okay to be late to the party because guess what? The videos are up on YouTube. Two whole videos are up on YouTube of me defeating Cynthia and the Elite Four. First try, I promise you it is such a great watch. Go watch it right now um, and support the channel. <laughs> All right, fave content creators. Um, again, I, I like to watch a lot of YouTube, um, but I... Um, I, not a lot of YouTube, but I like to watch YouTube. Some of my favorite creators on there are Jenim, um, Whaley, and Sophia Chong, um, Tina Young. Um, yeah, those are the 
people that I'm mostly watching. Um, I normally watch a lot of Asian um, creators on YouTube. I used to watch It's Judy's Life on YouTube um, with Benji, but I stopped watching that one. I used to watch David Dobrik. Um, who else I used to watch? I used to watch like Mythical Morning. Um, sometimes I would watch Hot Ones. This morning, while I was getting ready for stream, I actually was watching Hot Ones. Um, they invited Khloe Kardashian, which I thought was interesting. I normally don't watch Hot Ones that much because I don't know a lot of celebrities, so I'm not that interested in it. But like when they interview like Post Malone and like Silvers that I know, I, I watch it. Um, and Worth It. I also watch Worth It and BuzzFeed sometimes. Assassin, hello! That was amazing. Are we talking about the YouTube video? But also, if we're watching, we're talking about like fave content creators, as in like TikTok creators, um, right at the top of my head, I would say um, A Youngie, Emily, my good friend Emily, Vince, Vinius, and Ferb. Um, we also have. Cozy Gamer? I think that's her username. Let me look. Cozy.games. Yeah, there we go. Kendra. And then we also have... Who else is there? Sensible, of course. I know we have other ones. Yeah, those are just the people at the top of my head from TikTok. Yep, the, the Cynthia video is up on YouTube indeed. All right, let's see, let's see. Da, 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 da. If you had to live in a video game, which one would it be? <sighs> which video games would you guys live in? Let's see, which video game would I want to live in? I feel like I would definitely want to live in the Pokemon world. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in the world of Pokemon, right? Like, you, you, you roam around a world, you have cute Pokemon around you everywhere, it's competitive, I love being competitive, and you just keep catching all these adorable Pokemon, like, what, what other world would I want to live in other than the Pokemon world? What do you guys think? I mean, there's Animal Crossing, but like, would I really want to just decorate all day long and like run around back and forth with my tools breaking? And then, I mean, it's cute though. The graphics is really cute. Mm. There's villagers, but then they say the same dialogue every day. Yeah, it wouldn't be Animal Crossing. Stardew Valley. Mm. I'd pick Pokemon over Stardew Valley still. Well, you can like have a life and get married and have kids. No, I would still pick Pokemon all the way. Animal Crossing is chore simulator. Oh, for sure. Animal Crossing is meant to just like to play daily. But I would want to live there. Animal Crossing or Pokemon? That's hard. That's really hard. I think Animal Crossing graphics are beautiful. I mean, if we're going based off of graphics, Animal Crossing is going to win over Pokemon, but like just the idea of I think Pokemon itself and like living with Pokemon would be really cool. The Pokemon that would destroy the world. No, we would be more on the we would live in a wor happy world of Pokemon. You know, we can't think negatively. It would be a happy world where where humans and Pokemons can live in peace. Art of Zoo. Is that a game? live in a job simulator world <laughs> what if i were to live in like fortnite where i'm like constantly running and like battling people and or i don't know what you do in fortnite like you just i all i see is people build but i heard they took away building so like you what do you do you just run and shoot people imagine if we live in like call of duty or something <laughs> or like valorant where it's just like what like only a couple maps at a time and you're constantly battling other people <laughs> Pokemon all the way. Okay, you convinced me. Pokemon would be dope. Pokemon would be so dope. Are you kidding me? Who would even question that? There's like all these different Pokemon and all these different types of Pokemon and you get to live with them. They literally live with you. It's so cool. 
Imagine if we lived in the GTA world. Imagine if we lived in like Sims or something and it's like, well, I think Sims wouldn't be that bad. You Sims, you're essentially just building, right? Like you're you're decorating, you have a job to go to. You know, no, I don't want I don't want any I don't want to live in any world where I have a job. All right? I already live in this world. No more. No more. If it, if I were to live in a different one, let it not be a job where I have to still make money. <laughs> Shadow, welcome back. No, I was just talking about Fortnite. We're pretty much talking about um, if you were to live in a video game, what um, what video game would it be? What video games was you, would you guys want to live in? No jobs. <laughs> no jobs. I don't. I also don't. I don't want to have any jobs um, in the game. I don't want to be chased by monsters. Well, I guess Pokemon can chase you. Mm, I don't know. Could Pokemon chase you? If you make them mad. Oh no. Shadow, are you okay? Um, are you feeling okay? If it comes with respawning, probably GTA. GTA, so is GTA the one where you can do literally anything? Or what if we what if we lived in Minecraft, guys? How would that be? Everything are blocks and you can but you can build anything that your heart desires But what if I'm not a good builder and then I would have to go out and like mine every day Or I would fall and die into lava or zombies would chase me at night See, I don't think I would want to I don't think I would want to live in Minecraft I think Pokemon Josh, hello. I've never played Fortnite. I don't know if I would like it. I don't know what you're supposed to do in it. I just know you like shoot other people, but isn't that like a bunch of other games too that you shoot people? I'd say Pokemon 2. I can be 10 years old forever. Exactly. Taro, hi. Mario Kart. You would want to live in Mario Kart? So you just want to drive all the time? I'm tired of driving. I'd love to have somebody drive for me. Minecraft up until you find a creeper. I feel like Minecraft wouldn't be a fun world to live in. Let's try, let's seriously try to think of a fun game to live in though, guys. What other games are there? I feel like my knowledge of games are so small compared to everybody else. Let's see. I know Spirit Fair, but isn't that isn't that isn't that game kind of sad? Minecraft would only be if peaceful mode is on. Otherwise, you'll deal with literal monsters every night. Yeah, I, I the little time that I did spend playing Minecraft, I was so stressed out because I felt like nighttime came by so quickly. Symptoms showed up Monday, tested yesterday, and so I requested. Oh no, Shadow, I hope you're feeling okay. Stardew Valley wouldn't be a bad choice. But then Stardew Valley like adds into my like hoarding um, addiction where it's just like you just hoard everything you get. Like you just you're like, ooh, a fruit. I'm going to put this one in this chest. <gasps> Another fruit. This chest. <gasps> Wood. That chest. And you just save everything and everything. <laughs> no, but Stardew would be nice. I think. Though Stardew doesn't have enough, like, decorating aspects to it. Um, oh, but you could have a kid in Stardew Valley. You can get married and have a kid. So. What movie universe would you live in? Free Guy or Ready Player One? I don't think I've watched Free Guy yet. I remember Stream was telling me about it. Free Guy. I haven't watched Free Guy yet. I did watch Ready Player One and um wait, let me ready let me make sure I watch Ready Player One. Yeah. Is it Ready Player One also a book? I really liked Ready Player One. Um so I'm wait, I'm trying to remember what it was about. It's like isn't it like where the person, the main character, is um he plays games. I would think I would want to do Ready Player One for sure. But I don't know the other the other show, other movie. 
Mostly coughing, so my throat hurts basically. Oh, okay. Did you get are you vaccinated? Um, because then maybe it'll help with your symptoms. Are we living in the world as a main character or the attributes of the world? That's a great question. I don't know. You should give Free Guy a watch. It's pretty solid. Yeah, stream keeps telling me to watch it. I might watch it over the weekend after I finish um Peaky Blinders. I have like two more episodes to watch. But I, yeah, I think I really liked Ready Player One. I'm pretty sure Ready Player One's coming out with a second movie, if I'm not wrong. Let me see. Oh yeah, it comes out. Um, there is going to be a sequel. Um, November, wait. I thought it said 2022. Nope, I don't know. Is there? When is it coming out? Is it coming out this year? It was, it's an old book, so the movie was modernized. I think my sister said she read um, the book, and, she's, and I really liked the movie, but she said the book was way better than the movie, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. Isn't the real world in Ready Player One on the brick of collapse? You're right. That's very true. You know what? I think I'm fine living in this world. <laughs> I don't want to live in any other world other than Pokemon. <laughs> if I were to live in something that, um, if I were to like live in a, a movie, I think I would want to live in Avatar. The blue people Avatar. I don't know, that was like my favorite, one of my favorite movies growing up. And there's just something about, like I would wanna be the blue person though, right? <laughs> the blue people. I, like there's just something about their world that I was so fascinated by, just the way the world lit up when it got dark and how you had to be in tune with like the environment around you in order to like understand things more than just yourself. So I'm definitely really excited for the second movie to come out this year. We've all waited a very, very long time. Wreck-It Ralph, I would eat my car. Dude, Wreck-It Ralph though, like, it's so sad. The second one that came out where like all the games started getting destroyed because they, they started unplugging it because the internet existed. I don't know if I could live in, in Wreck-It Ralph. I feel like it's it's too sad there's too much uncertainty what if you get unplugged you know all right next question um what is one song you would listen for the first time again? Mm, I don't know. I feel like it depends on what genre I'm feeling. Um, like if we're talking about EDM music, a, some songs that I would want to listen to for the first time again would probably be maybe some songs from either Odessa um, or Above and Beyond's acoustic set. Um, or Love Again by Slander. If we're talking like R&B music, mm, maybe some songs from Pink Sweat, Sweats, um, or Or maybe some songs by Doja Cat. We listen to it. I love Doja Cat. Before she was like huge, I listened to her a lot. McNugget, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great day at work. Stay safe. Have you listened to Daisies yet? What's Daisies? I love pink sweats. You know, one time, so I don't know why, but I'm like, 
I love the idea of like an artist noticing me. <laughs> I don't know why, but like every time I post like an artist on my story, I like tag them in hopes that they, they see my story. Like one time, um, or not even just artists, but like a celebrity, like over COVID, um, I graduated in 2020 and then my grad cap actually said, so if anybody here is like a fans, um, fans, friends watcher, um, it's one of my favorite shows growing up. Each series, each episode in Friends was called the one where da 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 da. So it could say like the one where Ross marries Rachel or the one where Phoebe, um, Phoebe gets a haircut, right? So my grad cap actually said um, the one where I graduate because, you know, it's kind of like a friends, you know, friends thing. But anyways, um, so then I, I made the grad cap and then I posted on my story and I tagged all of the friends um, cast members. And then um, who was it? What was his name? I think his name is... David, David Sh Sh Schwimmer, Schwimmer, um, he saw my Instagram post and I was so happy. He was like, his like little username popped up at the bottom and I was like super proud of that. Daisies by Yeptap. Oh yeah, he did, it, it, he did release a new song. I haven't listened to it yet, actually. Did you like it? Um, oh, happy... Um, late birthday, Jedi. The one where Meryl becomes Twitch famous. Arjan, do you know how, how many years it could take me to accomplish that? It could almost, it could never happen is the thing. Yeah, David was Ross, yeah. Yeah, I was super proud. And then like another time I remember in Animal Crossing, I like put on the walls like my favorite albums and I had like Umi up there, Pink Sweats, um, some of my favorite EDM artists. And then I tagged all of them. <laughs> and I was like, so proud of my little Animal Crossing home. And then I tagged all of them. And then Porter Robinson saw the post and I was like, oh my gosh, how cool. <laughs> Have you used your SAT-75 ever since you got the Sun-68? My Sun-68 feels so much better than my SAT-75 and it hurts me because I spent so much money on my SAT-75. So no, I, ha I have it. I changed it out for a bit, but like... I just, I'm like not over the feel and look of my Sun 68 just yet. So like I haven't switched it, unfortunately. <laughs> I will switch it one day though. Um, so <laughs> the one where Marilyn becomes Twitch partner, we are Twitch partnered. Oh my God, you listen to Umi, dude, her new album doesn't miss. Ferris wheel. I actually went to Umi's um, tour recently. She was touring in LA. I love her new album. She's one of my favorite artists, like low key artists. But um, I will have to say, I feel like so w when we were when I got there. Okay, so like her tour was her voice is amazing nothing wrong with the music or her voice but she was just very focused on like i think younger me would have appreciated maybe umi and the set that she gave when i went but it was it was very um she, she's on a spiritual journey let's just say that she's on a spiritual journey and um she's very um oh one of one of our mods ken meets world just donated 25 since I'm mobile right now. Hi, chat. Everybody say hi to Ken. Ken meets world. Everyone tag him. Is he here? Oh, his name doesn't come up. But everyone say hi to Ken. He, he just um just donated 25. He can't be here since he's on mobile right now. Um, But Ken, if you're watching, hi. Thank you so much for the 25. Porter Robinson is the most wholesome person on the planet besides San Holo. Yeah, I... I love both of them. Um, but yeah, so Umi, she's like on a spiritual journey. Ken's here. Oh my God. I was like trying to tag you. Oh, there you are. You weren't showing up for a bit. I was going to tag you and then do the little wave. 
Thank you, Ken, for the for the dono. <laughs> ben meets world, right? But yeah, and then she so she's like on a spiritual journey right now. So like in between songs, it was very like spiritual. Like, you know, she had this whole whole scene where she's like where she dances and then like she has a a voiceover going on and like it's like it's her speaking saying like I was once water and then I turned into soil which turned into a tree and now I am a butterfly like this whole thing and you know I could have I could have not I could have gone you know without that part of the concert but you know when she was singing and all that stuff it was really great get a lilac Mr. Sue like Vince I know I I was thinking I had the slightest thought in my head maybe I should sell my sat 75 loading because I had some people messaging me like oh if you ever want to sell it like please let me be the phone to buy it from you but it's just like my first custom keyboard I ever bought so I can't bring myself to sell it so but I need to stop spending money on keyboards <laughs> so I got to think about it how much is the how much is Mr. Sue um, okay, I gotta ask, do you prefer Nurture over World? I'm gonna be honest. I liked World's album more. Nurture, you know, good for Porter. You know, he World's album is where he made it. Um, and then he changed it up with Nurture. I liked World's album more. But I feel like that goes for a lot of artists. Like, every time an artist makes it in the music industry, they always need to change up the sound. Um, it, don't get me wrong, Nurture, beautiful album, but I am, I am more of a world's listener. Um, like for Odessa, the In Return album, I loved that album the most. And then they came out with, um, what was the next one? A Moment Apart. I still liked it, but I was, I, I every time I go to their event, I always hope that they pray, play a song from their In Return album. Um, Yeah. Like Post Malone, his new album, his most current album, I like it. And I'll always like his music. I'll always love his voice. But I do like um, his Stony album the best, which is like three, two albums ago. So. Well, I'm not personally into that. Um, while I'm not personally into that spiritual stuff, Umi seems to be a pretty positive person with good intentions. For sure. No, like, no matter what, Umi has the best intentions ever. I, I couldn't agree more, Ferris Will. Like, I, I'm not into that stuff, but, like, I'm happy that she's trying to put out good into the world. Um, also, like, <laughs> she came out, like, earlier to say hi to people. I wasn't there, but I saw it on her story. And then, like, I don't know how I would have responded if I was one of the persons that she was recording for her Instagram story. But she was going around asking people, like, what color do you feel like being today? I don't, I don't know what I would have said. I would have been like, yellow? Right? Like the sun? <laughs> and, then, and then another day she asked, like, what do you plan on releasing during this concert event? Like, what do you want to release? And people would say like, oh, you know, I've been really cooped up at home. I want to just release that stress. Things like that. I don't know what I would have said, but you know, that just, if that just gives you a vibe kind of of like what kind of event she was going for, you know, very like opening spiritual, spiritual event. Um, but yeah, other than that, Super duper loved her. She's full of joy, so much energy. Um, yeah. Sell it also purple slash lilac. Mr. Purple are around 850, depending. It feels like a com brick compared to what you're liking, which is a soft type eight. But it's my first keyboard. Where where did I put it? I think I put it in my other um in the other room, but like it's my first keyboard and it's so beautiful my sat 75 is so beautiful like the thing about keyboards which like i've heard like my other friends who are into keyboards talk about like w when can you ever buy it again right these are these are only specific drops where you get to have this keyboard and other than that you can't you would have to buy it from a resale and it's just like i think it's just like a token in life like a memory that i had i don't know i just can't let go of it you know, even though it's so expensive i mean 
yeah it is kind of like a brick but then but then one of my friends stevie he like mill maxed it and like now i can like now it's hot swappable like it's like he did this whole customized thing for me and he did his best on making it better for me so like i just now it's like now it has even more memories other than just me buying it right it's like my friends like two of my friends have built it and tried to make it better for me so it's just like i can't let go i can't let go we'll see though i got i i I can't let go. I feel like I need more time is what I'm saying. If anything, I wouldn't sell it. I would just buy another keyboard. Um, is the Mr. Suit soft touch though? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna look for keyboards that are softer touch at this point. Your setup is so cute. <gasps> Thank you. I think we have the same moonlight lamp. Actually, this one was given to me by my friend Kwa. He is so sweet. He like um, for Christmas, um, he gave me this and it was it was just so thoughtful. You know, it's like it just shows like people don't need the most expensive things for gifts. Like this was probably like less than 20 bucks. But honestly, it is so freaking thoughtful because he told me that he looked at my like stream, like my setup and was like, oh, like, what is she missing? Like, what can I add to it for her? And then he thought of this little moon lamp and he was like oh i thought it would like match your aesthetics perfectly and look it literally does like imagine if i didn't have it now then it would look like there's something missing there but because i have it it's like it just adds it just brings everything together so yeah i thought it was really nice Plus, I like it too because this one's not, you can either have it battery operated or you can plug it in directly to um, the plug, which I like when you can plug it in directly because if it's battery operated, it's going to die really quickly. Dude, if I was put on the spot, I would have no idea what to say. Yeah, like when I first saw that she was like t doing meet and greets at the beginning of her event, I was like, oh, I wish, I wish I, I got there earlier. But then when I saw like what she was asking, I was like, <laughs> like i literally don't know what i would say like like oh do you want to be on my story miss um i'm posting stories like okay 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 um what are you releasing today i'll be like releasing like i would literally not know what releasing means like i, I i'd be so shocked by the question that i'd be like oh releasing i'm um releasing um the day that I had yesterday. <laughs> I, would be, I would be so awkward. Like, what color do you feel like you are today? I'm... I'm green. Wild. Wi I'm a wild green color. See, I don't know. Nature-y color. I don't know. It'd be really awkward. It's softer feeling compared to the sat. Um, look at them all. Tricks 3.0 lilac though and give me your thoughts all right let me see i i wouldn't want like a purple board i would need it to be like lilac are we talking about mr suit still wait what am i looking up is it matrix is that what the board's called. Mm. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm looking at the wrong thing. Is it from Novel Keys? Oh, my keyboard's loading. I don't really like it. Hold on, let me see. I don't really like it. Is that bad? I don't really like the back. I don't know what's going on. It looks too um, industrial for me. There's, I think it's like too much going on. Like I don't, I don't like what, like, but there's a lot of different colors I could pick. I, I'm not I'm not in love with it I did see the Mr. Suit one I like that one I like how that one looked but I let me see what the back looks like 
somebody asked me on, on my Instagram, what's my dream keyboard? And I'm like, ah, don't ask me. I, I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like still like slowly getting into the keyboard hobby. Like I feel like so much, so everybody knows so much more than me. Like I can't even call myself a keyboard enthusiast. Like I've never tried to. So it's like, I feel a lot of stress, but I'm going to say the Mr. Stu keyboard's really nice. Um, it looks really nice. Marilyn told me to nap and I listened. So now here I am. Juanito, welcome back. How was the nap? If she asked you, could have plugged your YouTube and say, I'm releasing a new Pokemon video. What are you releasing today, Marilyn? I'm releasing a video on YouTube. Go watch it. <laughs> that would have been so funny. EK, thank you. That nap was bussing. Dude, I used to, I used to not believe in naps. But I'm a napper now, guys. I'm a napper. I just, I can't help it. Like, I, I like to, like, I, I can't help it. Working from home and, like, working in my little room where my bed is, like, I just can't help but lay down and fall asleep. <laughs> hey, everyone. What are we doing? Nathan. Today, we're just, we're just having a relaxing, just chatting stream. <laughs> Check out the my YouTube. Make sure to smash that like button and turn on the notifications. Wait, you know who normally says make sure to smash that notification that the like button? Is this YouTuber I watch, Sophia? Does anybody watch her? She's huge. Sophia. I never say her last name though because I don't know how to say it. Sophia Nagard. Does anybody watch her? She's like she has like nine point four three million subscribers. She's like one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. Um, let me link her. She always says at the end, like, make sure to smash that like button. And yeah, I just, I love her video. She used to be on Buzzfeed and, um, she and her, I think she, her and her boyfriend, Tyler met on Buzzfeed and then they decided to leave Buzzfeed together and start her own YouTube channel. And honestly, I like, li I don't know what it is about her or like how she makes videos, but I just, I love it. I just love how informative her videos are. I think the things that she does are interesting. Um, yeah, I just, I really like her videos. She used to be on Buzzfeed, yeah. I didn't watch her on Buzzfeed. I only started watching her when she started on YouTube. Wait, I love her videos. All right, let's see, next question, I think. Are you doing Project Z? What's Project Z? I don't know what that one is. What show are you into right now? Well, if you know me, you know that I've been addicted to the Survivor series. <laughs> I, st I started watching Survivor um, because one day during COVID, I saw my sister playing it in the background and I was making fun of her. Like, what are you watching? Like, oh, it's a reality TV show. Like, it looks so lame. Like, and I and I kind of like just watched a little bit longer and I was like, this just looks so fun. Like, this just, this is just ridiculous. Like, I would watch them do challenges and I was just like, they're so serious about winning. Like they care so much. And I, I don't know, I was just like clowning so hard. And then like two episodes in, I was kind of invested. I was like, wait a second. Ooh, things are getting spicy. And then I just, I just started watching and watching. And then we finished the series, the epi that series, that, ep that, that, the, 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 the season together. And then Netflix um, had two seasons on Netflix at the time. They always have two seasons. And then I watched the next season by myself and it was just so good. And then now I'm just like fully submerged in it. And I've like watched like, I think five or, or eight seasons of it. I don't, I don't remember. And I, I've even got to the point guys where I have an, on my notes app, I've like wrote out all their survivor seasons like oh like one through 42 i've listed them and I've, i i say what country they, that it's in and then after i watch the season i literally rank the season and i do a short description of what i thought about the season like oh i liked this winner but i didn't like this winner or i didn't like what happened here or like oh good season but i don't like the winner like <laughs> that's how into survivor i got I'm like 
deep in the survivor fandom. I don't think you guys understand. <laughs> Extreme Bagel, welcome back. Happy eight months! How are you? Years from now, there will be a, another Q&A and question, what are you watching now? And the answer will be Survivor Season 92. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> it's a good show. <laughs> you guys need to watch it. It's so much more than just a reality TV show. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm about to add Survivor and let them know their, that, know their biggest fan. No, guys, like... Juanito, when I tell you, like, there are bigger fans out there in Survivor, like, if you guys start watching it ever, like, you will see how invested people are in Survivor. Like, there was a whole season which it was, like, um, fans versus favorites, and it was... So every season of Survivor, there's a theme, right? David versus Goliath was, like, the first one I watched, right? Um, Brains versus beauties versus bronze, right? And then, so, um, there was a season, fans versus favorites, where, um, all, like, half of the crew were all fans, right? All really hardcore fans of Survivor. Like, they've watched years of Survivor, they know the strategy, they've seen other people play Survivor. And then the favorites, which are people who voted, um, that, like, the world voted, like, are their favorite Survivor contestants that came back on, right? And you just, you just watch these people just totally geek out and nerd out to like seeing them play against other survivor contestants that have been on the show already and yeah no like i'm i'm like i like watching survivor but i don't think i'll ever be as invested as the people that like love it to the point that they go on and i feel like even if i were to go on the show i would not survive like i genuinely don't believe i would survive i would either number one nobody would like me and immediately vote me out because i'm literally the weakest link John, who's John? Hello. Wow. Happy 15 months, John. How are you? 15 months is a very long time, but welcome back. Um, so yeah, one, I'd either be voted out because nobody likes me and they'd be like, this girl's doing nothing. All she does is is eat all of our food and she can't help us win any con any any um any um game and she's just she's just she's the weakest link. Or two, I would be like you know, I would become friends with the person who's the most strategic and then like I would like make it all the way to the end with them and then um and then I would and then I would just be like what do they call it like the sheep pretty much like the sheep when you like make it all the way to the end but like you're only the person at the end because no there are, people are okay with taking you to the end because they know you're not gonna win because at the last okay so like to those who don't know what Survivor is <laughs> Every episode, if you lose, if your team loses, you have to vote against each other on who you think should leave the show, right? At the end, the winner gets to win a million dollars. And so if your team loses, you write a name on a paper during, um, during the end of the episode and then you on who you want to go home. And then whoever has the most votes goes home, right? That's that's the concept of every episode. On the last episode, you want your name to be written last because if your name was... Um, so the person who who has the most votes at the very end of the game... So people who you vote out off the island, those people become jury members. And then those jury members watch every every like time another person gets voted out and sees what happens. And at the end of the whole season... Um, you have to like plead your case. If you make it to like either the top three or top two, they change every season. Um, you have to plead your case on why you think you should be the sole survivor. And you have to t ask people on the jury who you've ultimately voted out, right, to leave the island. Like, hey, I deserve to be the sole survivor because like I was able to play the game and, you know, I was I outwitted everybody. I was good at con I was good at games. I was good with my social game, stuff like that. So I, so normally when you make it to like the top two or three, you want, so then if you win the last, oh my God, there's just so much to it. If you win the last challenge of the season, you get to pick who you want to be, who you want to sit on the, on the, okay. So say if there's only two people at the end, okay. Okay. Say, you know how I keep saying there's sometimes there's three, sometimes there's two. Let's just make it simple. Sometimes there's two people at the end of the season, right? 
during the last challenge, it's against three people, right? And then say you're doing a challenge, and if you win that last challenge, then as the winner, you get to pick who you want to sit with when to face as the sole survivor. So say if like, like, oh, like I lost the challenge and like somebody's really good wins, they're, they're going to take me because they know I won't win because the jury won't vote for me. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like all strategy. You have to think of like, if you win the challenge, you're going to have to hope that like, like that you win so that you can, you have control over like, okay, this person I'm going to sit with, but because if I pick somebody else, say if I pick somebody else, then the jury members might like the other person more or think that the jury or the jury might think that they played a better game than me. So then you're going to want to pick somebody who you think will, you could beat against. <sighs> Did that make sense? Guys, let me win for the LOLs. <laughs> no! Ah, it's so... You, you have to just watch it, guys. You just have to watch it. Chat, I hope you're writing this down. Yeah, everyone needs to start memorizing how this goes so that I don't have to repeat how Survivor works every time. <laughs> <laughs> just watch it just watch it guys <laughs> just watch the game you'll love it you'll love it just as much as me matuma hello made so much sense thank you everyone just nod your head yes just say yes <laughs> i just want to see marilyn play fortnite with chat on zero build didn't they take out building in fortnite <sighs> Anyways, so that's why I wouldn't go on the show Survivor. I wouldn't, I wouldn't win. So, yeah. Ultralight stream. Hello. Man, oh my gosh, that, that got me. Woo. Oh, I'm also watching Peaky Blinder right now. Good show. That one's a good show. Um, I recommend that one too. <laughs> I won't get started though on, um, on what it's about because then I won't make sense. Um, what else am I watching? I think that's about it. I've been thinking about watching Bling Empire. Has anyone watched that one? Um, I want to watch Miss Marvel, the ones that you guys told me about yesterday. I should watch Free Guy. Um, I want to also watch all the Pokemon movies that have been coming out. The movie and show that came out on YouTube and Netflix. Ooh, that was that was a lot on me. That took a lot on me. I I um I felt a lot of stress having to explain that. But if anybody has any questions about Survivor, I will gladly answer them. <laughs> Marilyn, did you see Stranger Things? I actually did not watch the new season. Was it good? I'm not a Stranger Things watcher. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be honest, I tried my best to get into it. I couldn't. I watched the first, second, I think the fourth season's out, right? I just got bored watching it. I think it's overhyped. I'm just like, I'm like, whatever about it. But maybe I should watch it. Um, Pokemon movies have my heart. I've actually only watched one Pokemon movie other than like the old anime ones um, growing up. And uh, that was the one we watched on Discord together. <sighs> and they announced a fifth season for Stranger Things? I could have sworn I remember reading that Stranger Things season four was the last one. New season was the best season? Okay. I will be the judge of that. I'll watch it and let you guys know then. <laughs> yeah, you guys, are, you guys are in sync. The only TV show I watched this year was All of Us Are Dead. I watched All of Us Are Dead. I actually gave them... Um, um, a reenactment of it one time on stream. I wasn't a fan of All of Us Are Dead either. I, I think it's just because I realized I don't like K-dramas. K-dramas are too dramatic for me. They're too dramatic and I just... Um, but one of my favorite shows of all time is probably Tara's House. I'm really sad that um, that, that, that series has come to an end. Fifth season was the last one. Oh, at this whole time, I thought the fourth season was going to be the last one. 
last season in 2024. Well, they really know how to drag it out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It, it'll be good. It'll be good. I should watch it to catch up. Okay. Can you play Genshin Impact? I've actually played Genshin Impact before on stream and I got gaming motion sickness, which sucks because it's like, I thought it was only first person games that make me nauseous, but I guess it's just games that like move around quickly that kind of just make me feel very um, nauseated. But um, it's very similar to Breath of the Wild, I would say. So I wouldn't be surprised if I liked it. And uh, the best part about it is that you're playing like really pretty girls. So um, I could see why Genshin Impact is a well-loved game. Um, would I ever play it again? Maybe. There's there's always maybes in all games. I, I'm really like, just like, yeah, maybe eventually I probably will. Last season will be 2024, but the wait for the fourth was worth it. I think it cost 30 million per episode. Wait, 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 guys. Has anybody watched the Minion movie? What's, what's that all about? Why are people wearing suits to the theater? What's going on? How is it like the top grossing movie of all times that got released July 4th? Like, what's the hype about? Is it, I heard it's because of a meme. Like, can someone explain it to me? I'm like genuinely curious. What are the memes though? What memes? I'm like, I gotta know. Why is it so popular? I have not seen it. It's like a meme on TikTok. I'm on TikTok and I haven't seen the meme. The Minion movie was amazing. I want to go again. Ooh. What? Why is it so popular? You still buy Pokemon cards? I actually have these that I have not um, opened up yet. And I have some more right over there. Um, but um, I plan on buying a little bit more in the future. But I have not opened them yet. The movie itself is definitely not it. I don't get it though. I've seen like so many people dress up to the movie in like minion outfits and the suit. Like what does the meme say? It's mediocre compared to the others. It's that's insane how popular it got. Good for them for like being so um what's it called? Being able to like capitalize on the meme world and make money from it. Okay, what is my go-to snack? I'm not a huge snacker. Um, I, I don't like chocolate. Um, I'm, I'm more of like a sour candy eater. My favorite like flavor would be watermelon. Um, so, um, what's it called? I really like like sour belts. Um, and if we're talking about chips, I, I, I'm just a hot, I love hot Cheetos. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm unbiased to any type. It could be hot Cheeto puffs, hot Cheeto regulars. No, I'm not really into the regulars anymore. Um, fries. Um, what else is there? Funyuns, burritos. I like spicy food. I like sour and spicy food. I don't like popcorn as a snack. <laughs> if I go to the movie theater, I will, the snack I will get is nacho cheese and jalapeno with an icy drink. Popcorn tastes like nothing. It literally tastes like nothing. It gets stuck in my teeth and it's like salty nothingness, but also buttery. I could pass, I could pass on it. Almost all theaters in NY started banning people. They're wearing a suit. Oh, really? Ruin the movie. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Zelda. If you guys want to watch um, uh, on YouTube, I have my stream highlights on there. You snack almost every stream. That's true. It's I snack, though, because I have to take Dramamine, and the Dramamine makes me snack. <laughs> Look, I haven't snacked all stream today, and all yesterday's stream, and guess what? I didn't take Dramamine. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I it depends how I feel. I feel like also because I talk a lot on stream, so it it give it takes all my energy to uh to snack. I mean to talk. So I like need something to keep me going. Davin, hello. How are you? What games do you play at the moment? Right now, I've been playing Breath of the Wild. Um, and before that, I was playing Pokemon Arceus. I still need to finish that game. Snack, snack, snack. Yeah, I, I actually have, like, Pringles on my desk, but I'm not going to eat it. I also have... I have Hot Funyuns, but I'm not going to eat it. Because I don't need to. Unless I feel like snacking, but I don't feel like snacking today. Fruit snacks? I love fruit snacks. I'd love to eat them. Yeah, why not? Fruit snacks? Fruit snacks? I feel like they're not really fruit snacks though. They're like sugary snacks shaped as fruits. It's 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 a lie. It's like you think you're being healthy snacking on these fruit snacks, but no, they're just they're just little sugary snacks shaped as shaped as fruits. Um the quarry a couple weeks ago. What's the quarry about? What do you think is your best physical feature? Um, I don't know. I would have to. I would have to not answer. I have no idea. I've never really thought about that. All right. Next question. Favorite movie of all times. I've answered this before. Um, I'll answer it again. Avatar. <laughs> what? What's the full name of the movie? It's like, I feel like people may think I'm saying Avatar. Yeah, it's just literally called Avatar. Um, the second one is called The Way of Water. Yeah, it's just Avatar. So Avatar is like my one of my favorite movies. I Growing up, I had like um, the, what's it called? I had the, the DVDs of it and I had the set that was like, um, it showed like the background, the behind the scenes of Avatar and all of that stuff. So I would like watch it. I would fall asleep watching it. I don't know what it was about it. I, it's actually like really sad. It's about like, like, you know, um, it's actually really, really sad. You know, it's like us humans are trying to take over an, yet another world. Um, but I think that's why there was a lot of hate around it. Um, at, there's a lot of controversy around it, but I, I, when I focus on like the world itself and not like the actual story, it was, I like the world. Once Marilyn, once you see the minions rise of Gru, your favorite might change. Mm. Lord of the Rings, Avatar as the movie or anime? Avatar as the movie. I also like the anime too. I, I watched that as well. I've literally got Lord of the Rings tattoo. No way. I I was thinking about watching. I I saw Lord of the Rings like out in on on TV. I remember like seeing it on TV, but it was just so long that I never like. I never remember, I, ne I, I never like sat down and like fully like, or maybe I did. I don't remember. I was so young. Um, so I don't remember like watching it really. Like I didn't, I, that was the same for me for Star Wars. Like I like remember seeing it out on TV and in theaters, but like, I don't remember like the storyline that much. Yeah. I'm curious what kind of Lord of the Rings tat. Uh, yeah, three hours for Lord of the Rings, like. Um, Nathan asked, how much for a meet and greet? Zero dollars. <laughs> See y'all at TwitchCon. <laughs> um, what's your favorite food? I love any Asian food, um, especially soup or sushi, like if I... I like ramen, um, I like Korean food, Japanese food, Filipino food. Um, I'm not really like an American burger eater. Um, I don't know, I know this may sound weird, but I don't really like a lot of sauce. Like when I eat fries or like when I eat stuff with sauce, I like put a very moderate amount. I don't like dunk it. I just like a little bit of sauce. Like I could eat fries without sauce. 
and I could I could eat a lot of things without sauce. I don't know what it is about sauce. It's just like it's just a little I don't know. It's a little messy for me. Like I I, I never crave like. Mm, baby back ribs <laughs> or like mm, I really want a steak right now I'm, I'm more of like a seafood um lover like I like I like shrimp fish um yeah did you get enough sleep do I look like I didn't get enough sleep I I was kind of tossing and turning last night I put in my new so every two weeks I need to put in a new tray for my Invisalign and um it starts on Wednesday so Last night, I decided to wear my new trays, and oh my gosh, it was so freaking painful. Like, it's like one of those feel-good pains, I guess, though, because it's like, ah, my teeth are getting straight, but like, it was so, so painful. I kept waking up from the pain, and I was just like, in my head, it was like a mind thing. I was just like, don't take them out, don't take them out, but I kept tossing and turning from it, and then like, this morning, I took them off to brush my teeth, and it was so painful. It was excruciating to take it off. Um, but, um, but yeah, I don't have it on for stream, but yeah, it was, it was really painful. TwitchCon when and where? San Diego in October. How much are tickets? I'm like, seriously thinking about going. I don't know. The more I think about it, I'm like, why not? Why, why sh I, I should go. I can meet like so many, so many people. Food is but a means and a vehicle for the pure beauty and blissfulness of sauce. Mmm, that's one way to see it. Have you ever fell off the bed? I have not. I've actually, all my life, have lived on a big, slept on a big bed. I think this is queen size. I've never had like a twin size bed, even though I'm like fairly a super small person. Um, so I'm not really used to like sleeping on something that's small. I probably would fall in the bed though if I, if I like had a smaller bed because I'm just so used to sleeping on a large bed. Like I literally just like sprawl. Like I am a, t I'm like a turner, tosser and turner. Like I, I don't stay, you know, some people just lay in bed and they're like, Hmm. and that's it that's just that's the that's the end and then they wake up and they get out of bed and the bed sheets are the same no i move everything everything is moved everything this is why i don't like sleeping with a lot of stuff on the bed i just everything can get tossed and turned i wonder if the crowd is going to be like ax i feel like a lot of people are planning to have things to do at the end of the year, but I wonder if more people are going to cancel when the end of the year comes closer. I don't know. Do you move a lot when you sleep? Yeah, I do. I'm like, I move a lot. Um, I like, I've learned that I am the type to like, you know how like when you fall asleep, you kind of like twitch. That's what I do. And I realized that because recently I've been like, falling asleep and then I'll literally feel like I'm falling and then I'll like twitch and then I'll like wake up from the twitching but then like I'll still be kind of in that phase of like falling asleep so then I'll just fall asleep but but then that's when I realized like wow I twitch a lot like I'll like does anybody else do that I wonder why that happens I don't know I've been getting I've been feeling that like that a lot recently um I don't know if I snore maybe I, I, I'm not sure. I feel like I'm not a snorer. I wouldn't know though. No one has told me. Um, so I don't, I don't know. What if you twitch, but then you accidentally hit someone if they slept next to you? Um, uh, yeah, I, that could possibly happen because it's like I'm like twitching, but I don't think I like twitch to the point where I'm like hitting others. You, I twitch all the time. Yeah, I realize I'm like that. I don't know how to make it stop. Um, I'm also like, I also like my routine when I go to bed is like I sleep on my back first. I'm a back sleeper. I've heard the best way to sleep is on your back, by the way, guys. I'm a back sleeper, and then, um, as I sleep throughout the night, I sleep on my side. 
But I try not to sleep on my side as much because like I'm getting, you know, I'm like getting older and I'm trying to care more about my skin and like I don't want to sleep on my face where it's like it could cause wrinkles and stuff. So I try to like, if I sleep on my side, I try to be very like gentle, like, boop. Ah, all right, next question. I don't sleep on my back because at night I feel something heavy on me. Um, I like that. I like the feeling of like feeling secure on my back. All right, let's see. Who is your favorite music artist? I've been loving Spill Tab lately. Mm, I have a lot of favorite music artists. I think I've like talked about it a lot on stream already. Um, I think it depends on what genre we're talking about. Um, as of recently, I've been listening to a lot of Harry Styles. Um, I had a, uh, a lot of friends who love Harry Styles, but I never really gave him a, a listen until his most recent album. So I've been listening to um, his Harry Styles, Harry's House album a lot. So. Um, I think he's like a top favorite for me right now recently. Um How often do you change your bed sheets? I normally change it like once a week. I normally change it on Mondays, which seems weird, but I normally do Mondays um right before stream. So, yeah. Do you have a weighted blanket? I've considered getting one. Um do you guys have one? Do you guys like it? I'm scared of feeling suffocated. <laughs> I'm scared of like the feeling of being stuck, but I guess that's what that's the point of like a weighted blanket. Um, so maybe I should try it out. Um, I've, I've like tried it once because my sister had it and it felt good, but I feel like I would only like it for the winter. And on top of that, I feel like it would make me really lazy. Oh, I think we're getting follow botted. That's fun. I, l I just hit 15k. I would love to hit 20k. <laughs> Hi, Marilyn. I didn't get to come into stream because I've been busy, but I wanted to hop in and show some love. You be safe and have a great stream. Jalen, thank you. I hope you're having a great day yourself. These questions are getting personal. Yeah, these questions are getting personal. Yeah, I think we're getting follow botted. I don't have any alerts on for the follow bot though, so that's good. Right? We're doing good. No nothing's playing. You know, I've always wondered when will I get follow botted? Well, today's the day. I have a weighted blanket, but I only use it for winter. I think one day, I think a weighted blanket is something that I would never buy for myself. But if someone bought it for me, I'd be like, hey, man, this is a great gift. Thank you. But I don't ever see myself buying one. Um, you can ask questions on here. I was just, I just wanted it. I just wanted to like spice things up on my Instagram by having it open on there. Um, 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 um. All right, I think those are all the questions that I am going to answer for now. Oh, we got a raid. X O Sova, thank you for the raid. How are you doing, Sova? Welcome, raiders. Last scene, just chatting. What were we chatting about? Sova raid. 
Oh man, what a mixture of emotions. We just, I think we just got follow botted, but I would, I would think that we'd get more follow botted than just what we had. That was like a little follow botted. Um, but so raid, welcome. All right, I'm just making sure nothing's playing. We talked about how much work goes into long hair. Hi everyone. Center Narja. Hello. Um, or Cent Centenarja. You know, that is literally crazy that you guys were talking about how much work goes into long hair because hello, we were watching viewer requested videos. Haha. <laughs> oh, how fun. What videos were you watching? I I was I wouldn't be surprised if one day I chopped my hair short. Or like one day I go get bangs um, because long hair takes so much work. Like I just want to go like this and then my hair be, be like, you know, short and like woo, wispy, you know, but like, no, it doesn't do that. It has, it literally does not move because of how long it is. And it's so much work. It's, it's more expensive. I would say too, because you have to condition, shower it, all that stuff. So it's like, it's so much work. I wish I, I wish I could just do it and cut my hair and feel confident in it. Juanito, thank you for the gifted sub to Sova. But Sova, how are you today? Um, welcome in. Aria at the end. It's a weird spelling. Oh, okay. Aria. Center Aria. Is that how you say it? Long wet, wet hair because a weapon could just whack somebody with it, right? Someone comes into my house, I'm just gonna pour water on my hair and just smack them. Everyone who cuts their hair always says they regret it. My friend, um, she cut her hair short and she regretted it so much and she was just like, she was just waiting for it to cut, to, um, to like, what's it called? To grow out. I mean, I'm try I've always tried to look at like those like, like videos where they talk about like, oh, this type of face goes well with short hair and like, okay, what shape do you guys think I have for my head? Hi, Kuya, welcome. Like, I feel like I'm an egg. What shape do you guys think this is? Because I seriously don't know. Like, okay, it's kind of round up here. And then it gets a little pointy here. Am I a circle? No. I thought about it being an oval, but like, it's a little, sometimes it's like so pointed. Like, look at this, like, it looks like such a high cheekbone here. So I don't know what shape it is. I kind of feel like I'm an egg shape. Is it a diamond? Because wouldn't diamond be more, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like squared, but also pointy. I have no idea what shape this is. Yeah. I feel like I'm an egg shape as well. Sova, thank you so much for the raid. Have a great dinner. I also think it's kind of long. I feel like I have a long face, like a big forehead, even longer face. I think you're supposed to start looking at the temple, not the hairline. You know, I don't know a good hairstylist. I need to find a good one. I, I feel like I've, Every hairstylist I've gone to, they're not good with like styling super thin, fine hair. So it's like, it never looks good. I would say egg, honestly. Okay, guys, I'm joking. I don't think egg is an actual egg shape. I mean, is actual head shape. Let me see, different head shapes, let me see. I don't think egg exists, or in my heart. No, I'm not heart. I think heart would be more if I, my eyebrows were more. Am I square? My gosh, I might be square. Am I oval? I could be oval. Or diamond. No, I think diamond goes out more here. It might be heart. But the heart, it looks like the eyebrows are more... I see square too! I kind of see it. 
Somebody tell me. What am I? Let's see. No, square, I feel like. It, or maybe a rectangle? Because it kind of goes longer this way. She got a Minecraft head. I have a Minecraft head. Oval? Let me see if I draw the circle. You guys see the oval? Refuses to comment. You can comment. I'd say either diamond or inverted triangle. Triangle? Let's see. Like this? Or maybe this way. Oh, like this. I never knew what my head shape was. Because once you figure out your head shape, you can figure out what hairstyle you want. Like, my hairstyle is so boring, guys. If you had to pick one Pokemon starter, who would you pick? Like, are we talking about, like, to, like, have forever and, and like, like, if I got to live with that Pokemon? Or are we talking about, like, to compete with? Oval is, like, Kendall. She got a longer face to our girl here. Kendall... Can't rem Kendall has a small face, what I could remember. Triangle points down. How about to be with? Ooh, I like this question. Um, I feel like I would want Bulbasaur. Because Bulbasaur has little vines and he can help me reach things that I can't reach. <laughs> you know, like it could be like Bulba and then come and help me reach higher things and i feel like the vines are really strong too ill bulbasaur what unfollowed after that i we are a bulbasaur support here we support bulbasaur we are bulbasaur stan what do they say we are in stan of bulbasaur yeah i'm i'm a little short bulbasaur is like an og <laughs> there's the tiktok oh thanks Juanito but yeah I think I'm I'm either oval or I don't know in some angles though it's like I don't look like an oval so but like straight on I'm kind of like boop I'm an oval I have no idea but anyways hopefully we reach our daily sub goal soon enough we will see because I might end stream soon just chatting streams exhaust me. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions that you guys want me to answer, um, I might feature it on my Instagram um, reels and TikTok. It's the jawline issue you have that makes it hard. No, yeah, it's, it's confusing. Because from different angles... Let's be real. Which side is my better side? I would say... No, I think it's the side that's better. You know, you know how people have like a better side. I think this side's better. This one's fatter. The front. <laughs> Thanks, Juanito. I I think because maybe I sleep on this side more, so it's skinnier. <laughs> the counter is off by a few. Oh, how many did do we have then? I'm not sure. I thought we had maybe four total. True. But also, you usually see yourself mirrored. That's very true. Guys, um, also, we just hit 95k on TikTok. Um, so, if you're from my TikTok, we hit 95k. I hope you do go to TwitchCon Maryland to continue building your community that you have created. This chat is so great and I'm glad to be part of it. Josh, I'm so glad you're a part of it as well. I know you've been following for quite some time, honestly, and um, I'm so very grateful for um, the community we have. Honestly, you guys have no idea how much joy you guys bring me and how many great memories I have because of you guys. Um, what do you, I, I probably will go to TwitchCon. I just got to figure out like how I will get there and like with who, because <laughs> I don't want to go alone. Um, what do you think about the new Pokemon game? I'm a little disappointed in 
the graphics but i always talk about that when it comes to pokemon games i'm excited for it because it's going to be multiplayer and i heard it's open world but looking at the graphics i was like i don't know i just i wish it was better i remember i was streaming the trailer to my friends on discord and then like he was all like marilyn your your graphics are horrible why does the game look like that and i was like no that's just what the game is Oh, Kale777, seven, seven, seven. thank you. That's such a kind comment. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope, I hope you have an amazing day all week. Marilyn, your community is best always good whenever I stop in. Pretty welcoming most time. <laughs> I, I hope so. Yeah, I, I'm very grateful for our community. Yeah, TikTok has been the reason for a lot of things. Instagram changing, um, their algorithm, YouTube changing things up. You're on your phone while you cook. Oh, what are you making? True, I might be too old for this, but the entire short video format is so odd to me. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's odd because I feel like it kind of makes sense. I mean, a lot of people have short attention spans, so the shorter the video, the more engaging people have to make the video, right? So right off the bat, it has to be a super engaging video or else nobody's going to watch it. What's the new Pokemon game, Scarlet and Violet? Yes. Roxy, hello. Welcome back. Um, let's see, what time is it? 4.21. I think I'm going to end stream here. And um, I will update my schedule um, for stream week next week. I might start streaming two days a week out of three days. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to just take each week as is and figure out the plan then because... Um, I have a lot of personal things going on that I need to take care of. Um, but yeah, I am for sure having a Disneyland stream next week. I'm aiming for it to be Wednesday. So it's going to be an in real life stream. Um, and what's it called? I did order my top down camera. I am waiting for, I am tr I'm still figuring out what mount I want to use for it. Um, so yeah, the top down camera is ordered. Um, the thank you cards are sent out. And the Disneyland in your live stream is coming up next week. So a lot to come. I hope you guys are excited for the future of our community as much as I am. I feel like All-Stars after 4th Gen kind of sucked. Ah, uh, yeah, I could see that. Pokemon. Yeah. But thank you guys for being here. I know today was a short stream, but I hope you guys enjoyed the just chatting and getting to know me a little bit better. But yeah, let's find somebody to raid. Thank you guys for being here. Tell us what your face shape is. You guys tell me. You guys are the ones looking at it. I don't know. I literally don't know. Oshawa is adorable. All right, let's see. Who are we rating? And they're rarely seen far. All right, we're going to raid Waikiki. Waikiki um, has been a viewer here for a super long time, and she was so sweet that I ended up following her on Twitch. Um, I've known her for quite some time now. I think she's like no followed me since my Stardew Valley days, so I always want to go support um, our community. Um, what is the Pokemon who looks like a wrestler? I forgot which one. But thank you guys for being here. Um, you guys already know that you guys can follow me around the internet. Here are my socials. Here is um, my YouTube channel. I will be posting new videos every Friday. Um, 
I will be having my VODs channel. Um, I'll be up I upload my VODs channel every time a stream is done. So you can follow if you miss any of my streams, feel free to follow on there. Um, on Discord, we will be having a Nintendo Switch giveaway as soon as we hit a thousand members on there. Um, here's my TikTok, my largest platform. Here's my Twitter where I tweet sometime. Here's my Instagram where I post reels. So give a follow around the internet. One follow goes a very, very long way. And it's my journey as a streamer. Anyways, guys, there's the raid message. Please copy and paste it. Spread the love into the other community. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I miss you guys already. I will see you guys next time. Um, feel free to join our Discord um, to see the schedule for next week. If you aren't already following the channel, please feel free to give a follow so you can see more content later on. Anyways, everybody, stay safe, kisses, bye-bye.